Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the brace and drill bit is used to drill a hole at this point O. If the drill bit jams when the brace is subjected to the forces shown, determine the resultant internal loadings acting on the cross section of the drill bit at A. So we are given this mechanism and we have to find the internal loadings at the cross section uh, on the drill bit at this point A. So what we are going to do is that we are going to consider um, this part of the mechanism uh, as a free body diagram to find the internal loadings. So if we are going to use this side then there is no need to find the support reactions at O. So I, we, we have to pass a cutting section through O and then we are going to consider this as a free body diagram. So this will be our free body diagram that is shown here. So let me erase this and let me represent all the internal loadings that we will have. So this is our positive x axis, this is our positive y and this is our positive z. So let me write that this is our positive x, this is our positive z. So we will have the normal force because the cross section is perpendicular the cross section of the drill bit is perpendicular to the y axis so we will have the shear force uh, we will have the normal internal force in the direction of y because that that force will be perpendicular to the cross section so first of all we will have the normal force so the normal force is going to act in the positive y let's assume that the normal force is in the uh, positive y so this will be let's say this is my N, N A, the normal internal force on the cross section through that point A. Then along the X and Z we will have the shear forces because the, the cross section is like this. So this, this force will be, will be parallel to the cross section. So this will be the shear force on the cross section A in the X and we will have the shear force in the Z. So let's say this is the shear force. This is V this will be VAX and we will have VAZ, the shear force in the Z. And similarly, we will have the moments, right? So along the Y, we will have the torsion, right? We will have the moment which will cause the torsion in the drill bit on the cross, on the cross section at A. So let's say that I will have the torsion the black arrow represents the moments, right? So this will be the torsion. And let's assume that the direction, if the, if the arrow is in this direction, this means that the assumed torsion will be in the, in the counterclockwise direction. We have to draw the arrow in the other way, in the other direction, right? So this will be, the arrow must be in this direction, right? So if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the positive y. So this means that the torsion or the, the moment which is going to produce the twist mm, is in the positive y direction. So this means that it is the counterclockwise moment. So we will say that this is Ta. The torsion on the cross section through that point A is Ta. Similarly, uh, the the moment which will be parallel to the cross section or we can say which will be parallel to the x axis and which will be parallel to the z axis they will cause the bending moment so if the moment is along the x axis then it is going to produce the moment the bending moment about the x axis and if a if a moment is in the z then it's going to produce the bending uh, about the z axis so we will have two bending moments we will have This will be M A X, and again we have we have assumed that this is in the in the negative x, right? If if this is in the negative x, then then the direction must be in in this direction that is in the clockwise direction. So if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb must point out in the in the negative x. Similarly, we will have moment in the z direction as well. So we will have M A Z as well. So this is M A Z. Let's see. So, so if the if you want to have the thumb in the positive Z, then the fingers must be in this direction. The fingers must be curling in this direction. So if we 
Again, if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the positive Z. So these are all the internal forces and moments we, we must find. So for that, we have to apply the sum of the four. We, we have we must apply the equilibrium condition. So if I apply the sum of the forces in the X, that must be equals to zero. So in the X, we have this VAX, which is in the negative X. I will write minus VAX. And we have this FX force, which is applied on this handle. And it has a magnitude of 30 pound and it is in the negative X as well. So we have minus 30 and this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that minus VAX is equal to plus 30 or if you multiply both sides with minus sign then we will have VAX equals to minus 30 pounds. So we got the minus sign this means that the shear force on the cross section along the x-axis is, is, is in this direction. The assumed direction is not accurate. So VAX is in the positive x. Similarly, if we apply the sum of the forces in the y, that must be equal to 0. So in the y, we have an A, the normal internal force. So we have an A. And then we have this Fy, which is 50 pounds. This is in the negative y. This is the positive y. So this is in the negative y. So we will have minus 50. This is equal to 0. And from this, we can say that an A is equal to 50 pounds. Now we got the positive signs. This means that the assumed direction of an A is accurate. It is in the positive y direction. Similarly, if we apply the sum of the mo uh, the sum of the forces in the z direction, that must be equal to zero. So in the z we have V A Z, the shear force in the z. So we have V A Z, and then we have this F Z, which is acting in the z direction. So we have minus. 10 pounds, this is equal to 0. So the shear force on the cross section through that point A in the Z is equal to 10 pounds. So these are the shear forces on the cross section, this one and this one. So they will cause the resultant shear force. So we can say that the resultant shear force VA will be equal to VA x square plus V A Z square under the square root and this will be equal to V A X is minus 30 so minus 30 square or plus 30 square will, will give us plus 30 square so let's write it minus 30 V A Z is 10 square so we can say that this is 30 square plus 10 square this gives us 31.62 so the resultant shear force on the cross section uh, through A is 31.62 pounds. So this is the resultant shear force. Similarly, to find the moments, we must apply the moment equation. So if I apply the sum of the moment ab about the x-axis, that must be equal to 0 at A. So now we have assumed that this Max is in the negative x. So we will write minus Max then as you guys can see that this f of x, this is parallel to the x-axis. So it's not going to produce the moment about the x-axis. And this f of y is going to intersect with the x-axis. So that's not going to produce the moment. So only this f of z is producing the moment about the x-axis and it is going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction, like this. And if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative x as well. So this means that f of z is producing the clockwise moment. So we will write minus f of z is 10. And the perpendicular distance of this f of z from that x-axis is this distance, which is 9 inch plus 6 inch plus 6 inch plus 6 inch. So this is, we can say, 9 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 which is 27 so 27 divided by 12 so 2.25 inches uh, sorry 2.25 feet so we will multiply this with 2.25 feet since we want to have the moment in pound feet so 2.25 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that minus max is equal to plus 10 into 2.25 multiplying both sides of equation with minus sign we will have m we will have max negative right so this will become negative 
So this is 10 into 2.25. This gives me 22.5. So MAX is, we can say that MAX is 22.5 negative, right? And pound feet. Now the negative sign tells us that the assumed direction is not accurate. MAX is actually in this direction. And if we curl our right hand finger in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the positive x. So this means that MAX is actually in the counterclockwise direction. Similarly, if you apply the sum of the moment about the y axis at point A, that must be equal to zero. Now again, we have this TA. We have the moment which is going to produce the twist, which is going to produce the torsion. So we have assumed that this is in the positive y. So this means that it is in the counterclockwise direction. So we will write plus t. Or we can say t a. And then this f of y is not going to produce the moment because it is intersecting and its moment arm from the y-axis is 0. Similarly, this f of z is intersecting with the y-axis. So its moment arm from the y-axis is 0 as well. So only this f of x is producing the moment about the y-axis in this direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative y. So this means that this f of x is producing the clockwise moment about the y-axis. So we will write minus f of x is 30. And the moment arm of this f of x from that y-axis is this distance, which is 9 inches. So we will say that the moment arm is 9 divided by 12 feet. So this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that the torsion or twist is equal to 30 into 9 divided by 12. So 30 into 9 divided by 30 multiplied by 9 divided by 12. This gives us 22.5. So the twist or the torsion moment is also equal to 22.5 pound feet. And since we got the positive signs, this means that the assumed direction is accurate. This is in the positive y. So in the positive y means that this is in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the torsion. Now to find the bending moment along the z-axis, we must apply the sum of the moment about the z-axis. So the sum of the moment about the z-axis, that must be equal to 0. Now we have assumed that this maz is in the positive z. So we have counterclockwise moment. So we we'll write plus m a z now as you guys can see that um, this f of z is parallel to the z axis it's not going to produce the moment about the z axis f of y is going to intersect with the z axis so it's not going to produce the moment about the z axis so only this f of x is producing the moment about the z axis and this f of x is producing the moment about the z axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z so this means that f of x is producing the counterclockwise moment about the z-axis. So the counterclockwise moment is plus. We will say this is 30. And the moment arm of this f of x from the z-axis is this distance. And you guys can see that this force is acting from this point 6, six inches towards the positive y. So the moment arm of this f of x from the z-axis is 9 plus 6. So we can say 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 inches. And to convert it into feet, we must divide it by 12. So this is equal to 0. So from this, we can say that m a z is equal to minus 30 into 15 divided by 12, which is equal to minus 30 into 15 divided by 12. This gives us minus 37. So m a z is minus 37.5 pound feet. The minus sign again tells us that the assumed direction of the moment along the z-axis is not accurate. It is actually in the negative z direction, that is in the clockwise direction. So now these two are causing the internal bending moment. So we must find the resultant. So the resultant bending moment on the cross-section through A will be equal to Max square plus Maz square under the square root. So we can say that Max square is uh, minus 22.5 square and Maz is 
minus 37.5 square so this gives us 43.73 pound feet so this is the resultant internal bending moment this is the resultant shear force and this is the in the resultant normal force on the cross section through that point a which is the cross section of the drill bit so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for a solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler